Hello student, myself Kuhu Sharkar. Today I am going to start a new series which named Important Topic for GET Exam. And here I found a PDF where I get some important writers and their writings. And I found it very useful for um, GET Exam. As you know that GET Exam always focused on Indian writings. So let's start and before that I beg your pardon because I could not upload videos for some few days because I was busy for my exam. So and if you did not watch my previous videos please go and check it. So let's start. So here there is an example uh, there is an introduction of Indian writings. So, our first writer, Monica Alice, Brick Lane. Brick Lane, which was published in Double Day. Brick Lane, there is a short summary. So, let's read. Nazim is a teenager forced into an arranged marriage with a man considerably older than her. A man whose expectations of life are low. That misery seems to stretch ahead for her so here we see the protagonist nazim is a teenager forced to an arranged marriage with a man considerably considerably older than her a man whose expectation of life are low and that brings misery in her life fearfully leaving the sultry oppression of her bangladeshi village nazim finds herself cloistered in a small flat in a high high rise high rise block in the east end of london so you can say that it is a diasporic writing so nazim find him herself isolated and alienated because she speaks no english she is obliged to depend totally on her husband because she is a bangladeshi is a bangladeshi girl so she did not know how to speak english but it becomes apparent that of the two she is real survivor more able to deal the ways of the world and a better judge of the vagaries of human behavior so uh, it seems that she is more um, able to adopt the uh, surroundings and he, she is a good human being she makes friends with an uh, another asian girl whose name is uh, razia who is conduit to it to her understanding of the unsettling ways of her new homeland so here we see that she makes friends with razia so this is a um, sort uh, summary of uh, monica alice bricklin let's see next writing next writing is narim aslam's maps for the maps for lost lovers which was published in favor and favor um, journal maps for lost lovers is set in a pakistani community in an unnamed english town samas a social worker who uh, has no need for Islamic orthodoxy. So here the protagonist Samas, a social worker, has no need for Islamic orthodoxy. His wife, Kaukup, knows no other way and her religious uh, fervor has driven all their uh, children away. So here you see that uh, Samas, uh, is a social worker who has no need for Islamic orthodoxy and his wife Kaukub knows no other way and her religious fervor has driven all their children away. Saman's brother has fallen in love with a woman who has been divorced and abandoned by her husband's husband. When the lovers move in together, they are found murdered by, the, by her brother to protect the family honor. So here you see Sama's brother has fallen in love with a woman who has been divorced and abandoned by her husband. But when they, um, they when the lovers move together, they found murder some, uh, by the brother of the uh, beloved. 
because C was living in Sin. So here we found, find the Islamic Orthodoxy. Maps for the lost lover takes place in the next 12 months after the murders and highlighting the claustrophobic society and class of liberation versus the old tradition and hatred. So here you see that Maps for lost lover takes place in the uh, 12 months after the murder and highlighting the claustrophobic society and class of liberation versus old tradition and hatred. So here we see that here we see the um, Islamic orthodoxy. Now our next writing next work which is Rupa Bajwa's The Sari Shop. Rupa Bajwa's The Sari Shop, which was published in Penguin. Young Ramchand Rases. Here, Young Ramchand is the protagonist. Rases through the dusty street of Amritsar. Once again, late for work and chastised by his boss, and he takes his place among the cotton and silk of the Sari Shop. Selling yards of cloth and to the wealthy and fashionable women of the town. So here you see that my young Ramchand uh, is the protagonist. Rushes through, uh, rushes through the dusty street of Amritsar. And um, at the beginning of the novel, we see that he is uh, once again late for her uh, for his work. Offered a glimpse of a more opulent world, Ramchand is seduced by the idea that he might somehow better himself so um, but making dreams real will come at the price of a poor shop assistant might not be able to pay so what happened um, because he was late he was chastised by his boss he makes his place among the cotton and silks of the sari shop selling yards of clothes and wealthy fashionable uh, uh, to the wealthy and fashionable women of the town offered a glimpse of a more opulent world Ramchand is seduced by the idea that he might some better himself but he, uh, since he is very much poor so he cannot uh, dream for a good future. Next uh, work is Amit Chaudhary's A New World, which was published in Picador. A New World. A year after his divorce, Jyoti Chatterjee, Jyoti Chatterjee is the protagonist here, an economics professor in the American Midwest, travelled to his native Calcutta with his young son, Bonnie. Uh, so, Jyoti Chatterjee, an economics professor in the American Midwest, travels to the native Calcutta uh, with his young son, Bonnie, to spend the summer holiday to his, uh, with his friend, with his parents. So, um, he want to uh, spend uh, his summer with his parents as, uh, so, I'm absolutely um, sorry, Joyojit, this is Joyojit Chatterjee. As Joyojit walks in the bustling street of Calcutta, he finds himself not only caught between classing memories of India and America, but also between different persons of his life, revisiting loss of opportunity, realized potential, and lingering desire. So, Joyoji Chatterjee uh, is an economic professor of America who is living in America, but in um, he uh, travels in Kolkata with his young son Bonnie and uh, for uh, a summer vacation. But when he came in uh, Kolkata, he found himself uh, nostalgia. Okay, so let's see our next uh, work. Next work is The House of Blue Mangoes. The House of Blue Mangoes uh, was written by David Davidar. Three generations of an ancient family come and go in Chibhatar, uh, Chibhatar uh, the village by the sea. First, there is a Solomon, the patriarch, maneuvering to keep uh, the peace as caste struggles begins to encroach on, on the village. Then, there is the story of Solomon's sons. 
their fortunes rising and falling as india begins its struggle for independence finally there is the story of solomon's uh, grandson making his own stand for independence so the house of blue mangoes which was published in 2001 uh, in phoenix mm, there is a description of three generation of an ancient fa family uh, of uh, solomon family so let's see our next work our next work is anita desai's diamond dust vintage Di sorry diamond dust which was uh, published in vintage in 2000 uh, 2000 a new collection of short stories anita desai by uh, from anita desai in winterscape a quietly hunting tale two punjabi village women try to make sense of the chilly world inside and outside a snowy toronto uh, a snowy toronto widows in several other stories in the summer heat that becomes the catalyst an aging couple are stuck in a uh, stultifying Delhi by the visit of an old Oxford friend who trades on the charm and the family five house of to Simla caught up to in a road ragging traffic jam and distracted by a pre um, par perambulating universe of hawkers beggars and hungry cars so here we see that a new collection of short stories it is a new collection of short stories by anita desai in winterscape a quietly hunting tale two punjabi village uh, women try to make sense uh, of the chilly world inside and outside of uh, a snowy toronto window in several other stories it is a summer heat that makes uh, the catalyst the aging couple are stuck in a uh, stultifying delhi by the visit of an oxford friend who trades on his charm the finally uh, five hours to simla and um, a road raking traffic jam and distracted by the prebulating universe of hawkers beggars and uh, hungry cars so it, it, it is a, this is the story of diamond dust by anita desai let's see the next work the next one is very important work chitra banerjee's divankari's arranged marriage uh, as we see that uh, chitra divankari was um, asked in previous exam previous gate exam chitra devankari's arranged marriage which was published in black swan a collection of 11 stories each or uh, one complete in itself which chronicle uh, the hopes and fears indian born women uh, living in america there we see that a collection of uh, 11 stories each one in itself which chronicle the hope and fears of indian born women living in america let's see our next uh, work the next work is sunitra gupta's memories of rain memories of rain a forward action of gupta's hypnotic novels so it is a new genre hypnotic novels takes place in uh, place during a single weekend kolkata born uh, monik uh, moni is the protagonist here despondent over her english husband's infid infidelity and secrets plan to take their daughter and return to india so here we see that kolkata born moni despondent over her english husband's infidelity and secrets plan to take their daughter and return to india so she want to come back uh, to india on the child sixth birthday but the stream of consciousness narrative weavers weaves weaves uh, together memories and images so here we see that it is a hypnotic novel and here we see that the stream of consciousness technique and the narrative narrator weaves the through memories and images providing not just the history of fragile love but women's psychology and soul so here we see that uh, 
the uh, stream of consciousness uh, technique is used to weave all the memories and images and it provides not just the history of a fragile love but also women's psychology and soul and the next work is radhika jha's smell which was published in 1999 in quarter's book smell by radhika jha leela leela patel Leela Patel is the protagonist is sent to Paris to stay with relatives after her father is killed by terrorists in Kenya so leela patel is sent to paris to stay with her uh, relatives uh, after her father was murdered by the terrorist in kenya living with her glutonous aunt um, confined to her uncle's indian grocery she feels suffocated so uh, her ma her aunt was a glutonous lady who eats more and more and confined to her uncle's indian grocery she feels suffocated talking uh, taking flight she use her uncanny sense to smell to rise culinary uh, culinary heights then it betrays her so she is taking a flight and she uses her uncanny sense of smile so it's uncanny uncanny used by freud um, and culinary height so she uh, smell the culinary uh, heights but uh, it betrays her let's see the next work the next work is hari kunjru hari kunjru is very much important writer and hari kunjru is the impressionist hari kunjru is the impressionist in india at the birth of the last century and infant is brought uh, howling into the world his remarkable paleness marking him out from his brown skinned followers revered uh, at first he is later cast out from his wealthy home so here you see that in india at the birth of the last century an infant is brought howling into the world his remarkable paleness marking him out from the brown skinned fellows and revered at first he is later cast out from his wealthy uh, home when his true parentage is revealed so begin pranath's odyssey of self discovery so pranath is the protagonist here a journey that will make him from streets to uh, streets of agra via the red light uh, district of mumbai to the green lawns of england and beyond the beyond as he struggles to understand who he really is so um, as i find that it is also a novel where the protagonist try to find uh, his uh, identity and so let's see the next uh, writing next writing is famous uh, uh, jhumpa lahiri's the interpreter of melodies Jum by jhumpa lahiri which was published in flamingo in 2000 collection of short stories as we know that interpreted melody is a collection of short stories a couple exchange uh, confession during blackouts in the boston apartment as they struggle to cope the heart breaking loss and a student arrives in a new lo loadings in a mystifying new land while he awaits the arrival of his arranged marriage wife from bengal he finds his first bearings with the aid of curious evening rituals that his center uh, centenarian landlady orchestrates a schoolboy looks on while his uh, child minder finds that the smallest dislocation can unbalance her new american life all too easily and send her Uh, spiraling in, into the nostalgia for her homeland homeland so here you see that is a collection of short stories a couple exchange a confession during the blackouts in the boston apartment as they struggle to cope the heartbreaking loss a student arrives in new looking um, in a mystifying new land while he awaits the arrival of his arranged marriage wife from bengal bengal 
he finds his first pairings with the aid of curious evening rituals and his centenarian landlady uh, orchestrates a schoolboy look on while child minder find that the smallest dislocation and balanced her new american life all too easily and sent her spiraling into nostalgia of her homeland let's see our next work or next work is also jhumpa lahiri's the namesake it is a famous work by jhumpa lahiri uh, which was published in uh, hockton mifil mifilin the namesake is a uh, takes the ganguly family from their traditional tradition bound life in kolkata through their fraught and transformation into americans on the heel of arranged wedding ashok and ashima ganguly so uh, ashok and ashima ashok is the protagonist and ashima ganguly uh, is his wife settle in cambridge massachusetts where ashok does uh, his best to adapt while his wife pines for home and uh, in the previous exam also there is a quotation from jhumpa lahiri is the namesake so it is very much important to work when their son gokul is born the task of naming him betrays their hope of respecting uh, old ways in a new world and we watch a, as gokul stumbles along the first generation path strewn with conflicting loyalties comic details and raging love affairs so we here see the uh, gogol is warned and the, the task of naming him betrays their hope of respecting the old ways in a new world so uh, there is some um, important works as i discussed and in my next video i will finish the whole pdf and if you like my explanation and like my video please like and comment and share so uh, now i am going to end this video uh, thank you for watching